All right, hi guys. Hope you had a good holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever. Yeah. So just getting straight into this. This is a uh, a build showcase for a redo of my quality build, and the point of the build is to get to the soul memory tier that's right under 270,000 souls. That's the build right there. Feel free to pause it, copy it. Take note that I'm wearing Kale's helm, which increases my stats just a little bit. Uh, the weapons that I use for this build, just let me get over to those a little bit. All right, I use the Bandit Axe plus ten, the S Stock plus eight, the Mellow Scimitar plus eight, the Bastard Sword plus eight, the Halberd plus eight, and the Varangian Sword plus eight. I could have actually made like two more of those plus ten, but I ended up dying twice and lost about seven K souls. So the point of the build is you want to use the Bellkeeper seal while you're in the tower and not being invaded, uh, so you can invade other people. And then when you are being invaded, you want to swap that out for the Ring of Soul protection, which you find in the gutter. And once I've killed uh, a guy who invaded me, and I've obviously probably taken some damage, I equipped the Ring of Restoration where the Flynn Ring was, so I don't have to waste my Sunny D because you know you get invaded in there and you might get ganked. So. Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you guys in the Dragon Sanctum, you probably want to go to the first DLC, the Crown of the Sunken King. You probably want to go in there. That's where you get the Flynn Ring, and also, like I said, so if you get invaded, because I like to do it in the tower, I, I don't sit outside the tower. I go in the tower, so I can both get invaded and invade other people, but if you get invaded and you die, well... If you're wearing that ring, it breaks. And I don't like going hollow, so I will be wearing that ring. But if you're doing the agape ring and you lock your soul memory, well, you need like 14,000 souls every time it breaks to repair it, and that's that's going to screw with your soul memory. So what you do is you go over to Groot over here, or as it's known in game, the Pagan Tree, and what you do is the tree has a special aura that will fix all broken equipment so you never have to pay again for your equipment breaking and this is just a really a nifty way to fix your stuff so this is a way so basically every time I die I have to go do this little trick I, it's better than wasting all my human effigies though and so this is the guy this is Groot and there uh, what you have to do is you have to hit him with a whip nothing else he'll die in like three hits of anything else and that green aura that shoots out I didn't have anything that was broken on me to show it but that's it and that green aura it fixes your shit and that's that's what you need and uh, if you don't have a whip it doesn't matter if you can't use it you saw right there I had the whip and I didn't have the stats for it but I could still use it just any whip and in that room laying on the ground right next to him is actually a notched whip plus seven so uh, you can use that, but yeah, any whip. So the rest of this video is just PvP clips with this character using when I get invaded. Right here, I'm getting invaded, and you can see that I have that little human effigy in my statuses under my health and endure and uh, stamina. And that means that I've swapped out the Bellkeeper seal for the Ring of Soul protection because this guy might kill me, and I don't want to go hollow. So basically when like you see right there that I have the um, on the bot on my uh, my belt the bottom of the four uh, equipped slots I have the white sign soapstone if that's uh, blacked out you're getting invaded or you've already been invaded so I just sit there and when it turns black I swap out the bellkeeper seal for the ring of soul protection and like I said, the Ring of Soul Protection, it's in the gutter. It's pretty easy to get to. You do not need to screw around with your stats so that Falcon will actually fucking talk to you. And then he'll sell you the Ring of uh, Life Protection because uh, the Ring of Life Protection apparently sucks compared to the Soul Protection one. And it's the Soul Protection's free. Just some other things uh, to add, I guess. Uh, the Agape Ring, you buy that from Strayed. You have to have a Fragrant Branch of Yore to do to uh, revive him because he's petrified. It costs 5,000 souls. Uh, to get the Melu Scimitar, you have to buy the Ladder from Laddersmith Gileath, or I think that's his name. Uh, basically, the Ladder, ladder Guy. Um, 
uh, he's in Earthen Peak, and you have to actually kill the, uh, uh, you have to kill, what's her name? The poison snake lady that's like a copy of, um, Medusa. I cannot remember her name, what the heck? Uh, yeah, so you kill her, and he'll, and you, uh, you talk to him, and he'll appear in Majula, and you buy his $12,000 ladder. And you actually also need to buy that ladder because the key to the DLC that uh, I told you guys to go into, the Sunken King, is actually uh, is actually accessed via his ladder. So you actually have to buy it. So if if not to get the scimitar, at least to get the uh, get the key to the DLC. The scimitar it just has high base damage. I chose it because it's more of a quality scimitar. Also. Uh, what else? Uh, I have a second dragon ring on. Uh, all you gotta do to get that is kill Tark, Man Scorpion Tark, in the um, in the Shaded Woods. Be sure to you have to buy the Ring of Whispers to talk to him. So you talk, to, so you buy the Ring of Whispers, talk to him, go kill his wife, who's just uh, the boss of that area. You kill her, go talk to him with the Ring of Whispers on, and he'll give you a fragrant branch of yore, and then you. Uh, be, be sure to do that first, because that's a fragment bunch of yore you're missing out on. And then after you've killed her, go ahead and murder him, and he'll drop the second dragon ring. So, enjoy all these PvP clips, guys. Uh, they're all 1v1s, I think. I have a bunch of, like, ganks and stuff saved up for my next video, which I might actually do today, because I'm in a pretty good mood. So, enjoy these clips, guys, and keep an eye out for that last one, because it's going to be funny. And have a good day, guys.